Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing a very meta episode. Now, how to make a thumbnail. Increase it. This is what I do, this is my thought process, this is my movement process, this is how I work through a thumbnail. And um, some of them are quite, well, others are, well, decent. So, uh, let's start off. Firstly, you want to start off and start, obviously, with the new file. Uh, 1920 by 1080, resolution 600 ppi. could be a lot lower than that because, you know, I prefer to have high resolution because you cannot see things at a small scale because we're looking at some small stuff. Just create that image. And there you go. So you've got this blank canvas now to work with. It's got layer one and then your background here. So I wanted to take a little quick, quick peek onto YouTube. So you look at the theme in the palette here, you look at the sides, and I just want a Windows and G. Take a screenshot of that and a screenshot of that by pressing Windows and G and then press Windows and G to get back out of it. You can go into it, go out of it, whatever. Leave it there. Okay. So then I want to go to the file folder and I want to go to videos. And from videos there, I have captures, and then from captures, let this load a little bit because I have a hard drive. It's awful, it's slow, it's painful, it's depressing, it's, well, something I'd rather not talk about. NVMe SSDs aside, uh, you just want to drag and drop this into here. Now, up close is decent resolution, right? But what I'm looking for is just the color. So there you go, it's the, just the color. Okay, so I want to just make this one color and that's what I'm going to do. So you want to go over to the bucket fill, fill tool, and voila, there you go. It's all one color now. So now, to try and copy and mimic, this is just a reference piece right here, this, this image, right? This is just a reference piece. You want to look at these thumbnails and you want to mimic what's going on. So, making a thumbnail inside of the thumbnail, which is very better. So I have to complete the thumbnail first, then to put the thumbnail in it. Does that make any sense? This is the dark mode version of YouTube. This is what I use to use YouTube on. And you can see here, it blends right in with everything else. So, you notice here that there is a box and there is stuff around it. There's the text, there's the channel, there's whatever. So we try and mimic this. What I like to have already is an image beforehand. So I go into pictures, drawings and I'm going to pull out all Mr. Keanu Reeves here. I want to use go to the select tool and then select them and then right click and mirror horizontally because we're looking at this right. So to rotate you want to go outside of the circle and to rotate at whatever angle you want and to expand it and keep the exact same because if you expand it right and you just like you can move it all over the place and it looks like he's you know playing jazz or really tall or really small or upside down or whatever. The way to keep it formal and straight and exactly uniform as, as the image. You want to click but you also want to shift. Press shift. And that keeps it the exact same size. So the shift button will actually move it down to the position I want it. I want it in the corner here because left side is first. Move it around here. Press shift to expand it and drag it around. Then shift to adjust and that should be fine. So from here, we want this character to stand out, we want him to pop. So, you want to go over to the file, which is 1820 and then you want to right click, and then go to layer style. From here, you want to go down to outer glow and select that. Now, outer glow, you want to set, as you can see here, doesn't do much. So you want to set the opacity to 100%, to 100%, and then from there, press OK. And you've got that lovely, nice white border around Mr. Keanu Reeves. Now to steal directly from someone in YouTube, what I want to do is literally just copy, copy a section from here by using the select fair tool. So I'm going to go right to the corner, right to the corner, right, right, right there. And I'm going to zoom out, drag all the way to the edge, right to the corner and voila, there you go. So you've got this little selection here now. This has been selected on this layer. Well, the selection is zone layer itself, right? So you can, you know, make the selection of this. So you want to select this layer that this image is on, and then what you want to do is right click, and there's an option, cut section to new layer. And you can press Control, Shift, and J, but I find this a lot easier than memorizing. So you cut the section to new layer. This is one little layer now. So you want to remove this layer, and you want to remove that layer. So now all we have left to do is a bit of fancy. After using this layer, I want to go to this transform tool or control T if you want to do the thing. And I want to press the shift button to move it around. Oh, I want to press the shift button to move it around and make it bigger. So once I got in the position that I wanted, uh, maybe even a bit bigger, when I got in the position that I wanted, I then go and I want to just remove 
this here, right here. So to do that, all I have to do is just use the paint tool and press control to auto select and press left click then to select the color and just move that, move it away. Gone, also this, gone. So now we have this thumbnail and it's not finished yet. What I'm gonna do is go back onto Google and I want to do anime speed lines with a PNG. And you see these all the time, all across media. So I just want to use this one for example. There you go. And I wanted to save it as a JPEG because I, I want to show you how to not use just PNGs alone to add making masks and layers. That not like kind of reason one. I already had a pre-made PNG, but I want to show you how you can avoid this. Not avoid this, but overcome the PNG problem. So go to downloads and you see this PNG right here. You want to drag it and insert as new layer, not as new file because then things would act different. So make it to the, drag it to the corners, you can adjust it, whatever you want, just make sure you have everything set up and you want to apply. There you go. Now, the magic trick is, you want to use this little tiny button here, little brush, little uh, daisy, magic select, and you want to click on the black, and that is selected everything that is black. Now, what you can do is press Control and X, or you can move it right, press Control and X, and you've removed it entirely. From there, you can remove the selected layer because you do not need it anymore, and then you want to drag this behind, this layer is the anime speed lines there. You want to drag it behind the thumbnail image and you want to drag it behind the Keanu Reeves image. There you go. That's what you have. You have this thumbnail right here. But what you want to do is make a bit more of an oof to this right. So from here, you want to layer style, outer glow, then maximum and maximum on the optic and the spread. Then press OK you've just highlighted this. Now for the final part, I want to make a new layer and I want to add text. Uh, how to make a, then you want to change this size to as big as you can, or maybe not even big as you can, 28 would be enough, right? And you want to change this to black. You want to keep this black. And the reason why is I'll show you later. So save that and close. Now here is overshot entirely. So what you want to do is use the select layer, press, con press shift and drag it down. Make it smaller, but don't make it too small. So make it this bigger and a bit bigger and there you go now we're going to do the exact same thing we did to this outline here and this outline here we want to go up to this layer style outer glow and select it up to c 100 percent spread 100 percent but i'm going to click on this little tab in here and what this will do once you've selected it is bring up a color wheel chart and from there you can set the color i want mine to be red to stick out and there you go now you do see that the text above here shows up let's just increase the height a bit and then let go of the shift and you want to try and center this as much as possible now apply it okay how to make a now the problem is is that it's transparent you can see through it right what i do is i duplicate the layer so you right click on the layer and then duplicate layer or press ctrl j and then you want to press ctrl and e or merge with layer below Click that and you've made this and you want to duplicate the layer several times then just merge them all together so I just want to duplicate this layer several times make this not really see-through and there there they are so it really sticks out and then you want to add a new layer and you want to add some text and just compare the two so I just want to do the same outer glow 100% spread 100% turn this to 100% red and voila there you go so that from there we want to duplicate the layer. What I do to make it very, not very see-through is just to duplicate the layer a bunch of times then bring it back. I know that seems monotonous and dumb, but so the plan is right now is to export it. A thumbnail folder. No, not for Krita. We're going to export it as JPEG because paint doesn't take a lot. Make a, I'll make a thumbnail. Save as JPEG. There you go, the compression, whatever. From here, you want to go to your I'll find my thing in a second. I want to drag and drop this layer in on itself. And the reason is, the reason is, is because then I can just select this entire. I could just compress this down and select it, but I want to use this on a layer below. And there you go. That's a thumbnail inside of a thumbnail. So what we're going to do now is that we, we are going to export this again. I'm going to do this as number two. And the reason is, is because I think that it might replace the file and cause some corruption error. So number two, we're going to insert this as new layer. And then we're going to drag this here. It should be fine. And drag this down. 
and match it with this thumb here. Because this size, no one's actually going to know the difference. Once the export layer, you want to just pop it in. There's new layer. Here's the thing you could have done. You could have merged all the layers below. Control E, Control E, Control E. Now this is all almost one layer. And there you go, that's one layer. This is a second one. And here's the thing. What you will need to do is that you will need to use this and shrink it down, bring it around. Shrink it down even more. To drag the screen, you will press space and then move it around like that. It's very handy. It's using sliders. Then you want to apply this. Because of this angle, it doesn't look any different. What we know, all off from here. What you're going to do again is export it. Uh, three. Okay, save that. Then go to the file. Uh, you want to three, drag and drop in. Then here you go. Down. Even further this time, it's not going to be many pixels, but we want to get rid of this white one here. So from this angle, this one disappears entirely. So down here, drag it, drop it, pop it, there you go. And there we go. The final thumbnail. File, export, and there you go. No. And export as number. And we're just going to call it, we're going to call this one final. Because the person, it thinks that it goes on forever. But it really doesn't. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, support the channel. Smash subscribe like I smash your mum. Smash like like I smash your sister. Good luck. Peace. Get it.